So hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, today's video is not a geology video, it's a paleontology video. And this is pretty much a Megalodon shark tooth. And as you can see, this one's in pretty good condition. So we need something to compare it with. Uh, something that people can get dimensions. I like to use coins. So here's an Australian 50 cent coin. As you can see, the shark tooth, when compared with the 50 cent coin, is actually quite large. But as a Megalon Don shark tooth goes, this is not really that big. You can get them pretty much uh, oh, the size of this uncirculated coin set. Uh, don't worry about the coins in the background, it's for my other channel. So, as you can see, um, the island on shark teeth can actually get bigger than this. So this one would be, uh, probably, I don't know, probably an immature teenager. Or even a young baby that's just been born. Nah, nah, those teeth probably uh, are quite small. So how big can these Megalodon shark teeth uh, get? They can, oh, I've seen them get up to about 30 to 40 centimeters in length so we're talking about from the top to the bottom of the teeth and as you can see these ones don't have any custards on the sides yeah it's a little bit broken but when you actually buy these you need to be careful you can get fake ones as well and so this is the actual bone there's the dentine and as you can see the structure of the actual dentine it's uh it's like a fibrous type structure so and dentine is pretty shiny lustrous it is cracked uh that's because probably of the sedimentation uh doing some damage to the actual uh bone dentine itself and it has a lot of serrations on it so this is actually a very good specimen a lot of these that you find uh, don't really have good serrations on them uh, a lot of them are also pretty eroded here so this one is from oh where, what place um uh, somerville in south carolina in the united states and a lot of those teeth uh, are actually white you do get black ones which are, have been mineralized uh, with various minerals. But this one, because it's white, it's probably the original bone matrix and the original dentine. And it looks like this has been repaired, probably with some resin or something like that. Uh, and a lot of those you'll find uh, that's happened as well, even though the tip's been damaged. Uh, which is really sad so in this condition you're probably paying at least three to four hundred dollars although if you shop around you can actually get them for at least 100 150 but because megalodon was in existence from between 23 or 16 million years depending on the author because there is some uh, debate on when they first uh, come about and when they become extinct, bet extinct between 3.6 to 2.6 million years ago. So uh, in any of these sediments that are related to the ocean, uh, you can possibly find uh, some of these teeth. So in Victoria, I'm talking about probably the Jean-Jacques, uh, what is it, Jean-Jacques Marl, Jelly Baron Marl. Uh, if you go to Belmorris, the, the sedimentary there, so the lower layers, you can potentially find uh, shark teeth, not just megalodon, but have a type of shark teeth. And uh, just any, any oceanic derived sediment in between those time periods, so 23 and 2.6 million years. But majority of pretty much fossil um, sedimentary rock formations of that time period would not contain fossils. Uh, but 
those that do, yeah, they could be sparse or they could be quite common. So what I'm going to do is this one's going to a friend in Hong Kong. So that's why I purchased it. Uh, they wanted a Miguel Don shark tooth. I was hoping to get a big one, maybe next time. And uh, I was just going to give it to them because uh, Hong Kong, these teeth are actually quite expensive. You're paying about four to five hundred dollars just for something like this. So if you've got any other shark teeth, you can see uh, that the quality of the shark teeth is actually quite similar to this one. Uh, this one is Squirrelly Corex uh, from 65 million years ago, uh, Cretaceous. So that's a, a nice shark teeth. I like the actual serrations. So these ones come from Morocco. It's like a mining operation that happens in Morocco. Uh, and then... As you can see, these shark teeth are actually a lot smaller. So here we have another one. So this was Lemna. Okay, so this is also from Morocco. And here's the cuspids on the sides. Uh, as you can see, it's also pretty much cracked. There isn't been much mineralization of uh, that shark teeth. So then we have uh, some other shark teeth, these ones are a bit bigger, so these are also from Morocco, so it's easy to get shark teeth from Morocco because they're, they're actually quite common. Uh, let's have a look at these two, so here we have, so I'm not too familiar with these shark teeth, so I believe these two are the same. Uh, species uh, here is a uh, charius hope extinct sand shark and why these are different uh, this is the actual front of the teeth so on the front of the jaw and these ones are towards the where our mandibles are so these are on the side so and the reason why uh, these are straight is that when the shark bites down it's biting right into it and it's got a hole in it. And these ones are like a lock, locking mechanism. So it digs down. And it's like a hook here. So it's like a type of hook mechanism. Stop the shark from trying to get away. Well, not shark. They prey to try and get away. So when you look at Megalodon shark teeth, you can see this one is slightly uh, facing towards the right. So this would have been probably on the side uh, of the actual jawline and as it's facing right it's probably uh, the left side of the jaw so the teeth would have been anchored that way uh, so this would have been a hook mechanism so if it bites into its prey uh, it uses this as an anchor point to uh, latch on to whatever uh, to stop it from actually getting away so that's basically why these are actually curved and you can see in this fossil teeth analysis they have two different teeth so you've got the side of the jaw you've got the front this one's the side and the front as well and uh, these ones are actually quite older if you go to wikipedia you can find a lot of information on megalodon this is a well-researched shark because uh the size of the teeth so, you know, you've got about, some, yeah, about up to 16 to 20 metre large shark. When you're talking about a great white shark, he's only about 6 to 8 metres long. So, it's uh, a very popular topic. That's why these shark teeth are actually very expensive. And hmm, more shark teeth. And as you can see, a lot of sharks are actually a lot smaller. Uh, it will be pretty rare for a shark to actually get uh, to its full potential. The majority of them would have actually died beforehand because uh, nature is not kind. Oh, it is kind, but it's also not kind. And, oh, nice, beautiful shark teeth. And when you... That's actually still pointy. It's still sharp over 65 million years later. And this one, I don't know the age. 
Now I have not got any information about the age, but if we uh, find some similar fossils that are actually on the internet, uh, I still can't find out the actual age of the shark teeth. Okay, so the information that I got is this is from the Hawthorne Formation about 15 million years ago. I actually need to check that to see if it's actually correct because the information I get is actually uh, pretty conflicting. Although uh, this one says Neogeny, which is upper tertiary, uh, 20 million years, yeah, 23 to 2.5 million years ago. So uh, yeah, this is really a good fossil locality to actually get these fossils if you're in the United States. So you need to go to South Carolina. Uh, yep, yeah, but I hope this helps you with your fossil shark, fossil teeth uh, collecting. Uh, it does help me. So this is the only video I'm actually going to make on this shark teeth because uh, this is going away, which is uh, really a pity on my end but yeah i'm actually going to send some of these as well because that is also very interesting anyway I'd like to say thank you very much for watching my video and i hope this uh clarifies something about uh fossil shark teeth if you want any more videos about fossil shark teeth please leave a comment down below thank you and goodbye